So now, guys, let's see, like I, I asked, talking about the code in the VS Code. Okay, it's so easy then if you go to, for example, to the GitHub, and here I have the project include React.js SPCs, okay, in ACPM tag. So that's it, all the code, okay? And the code in the source, you get, for example, the web part screwed, okay? If you want, change the name and the component itself. So we use the, the Git and integrate with VS Code, okay? So let's see overview in the in the code to you understand everything about this. So in the we have the sar the source we have the dependencies the package JSON and dependence of this project. Okay, the difference here you see the SP PNPGS. Okay, what is this? This is the um, a library. Okay. To, to permit us, for example, using the integration with the SharePoint, okay? For example, go to the general for us to have a, a general overview. And like you see these libraries, okay, working in TypeScript, of course, and so on, but uh, for example, is to use uh, in integrate uh, with SharePoint framework. Okay. The the idea here, here is permit us, for example, the the integration between the web parts and uh, requests, for example, in the list, and so on, so on. For example, to perform. Um, a get of uh, uh, all items in the on list. It's so si simple. Then, for example, get by title, uh, and uh, for example, get to all. Okay. So you see here we we use get by title. Okay, and retriever all the users in that. So to 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 do this, I has been created um, a list, a customer list, okay, in SharePoint itself. This is a SharePoint, and I create a customer list. For example, if you don't know the way to to create this, uh, try see uh, some videos about to it's it's possible uh, who I create a list in SharePoint. Okay, and af after that, you must create the customer. Put the, the some some columns like the title, first name, last name, and if you want, uh, as another another column and so on. So this is the list in SharePoint, like you see in in, in the architecture overview. Okay, so and we use the PNPGS library to perform. Uh, operation with the, the web part and of course the SharePoint and we'll continue. So this is the the dependence I talking about. Okay, so so let's continue with this. The web part itself. The web part has uh, some components like a customer uh, and in the customer we have for example uh, this is for the app and configuration. So in the customers, we have the create, the edit, the list, and models, and the data provider. So let's see what happens in the data pro provider itself. The data provider, we use the web part, context, okay? And for example, import um, I, uh, customer model. So let's see the customer model here. The customer model for us here in the, in, the, in the code, I only put the name, the value, and the key. Because that, because I want you to understand the details, items from Office Y fabric. So it's why I here 
put only these three uh, simple uh, fields with these names, and after that I will change to to receiver the same names uh, I want in SharePoint or in Collins and SharePoint. The idea is you understand uh, if SharePoint has um, some names, I want put another names in client side and the web part. So it, for us, it's possible, and I I I put this in this way. So. Uh, I present to you the, um, the control details uh, list. We will use it, and this, that's it, the, the, um, the control list itself, okay? You see here a name, and so on, so on, so on. So, for us, in, uh, on, on, on application, like I said, we have the list itself, okay? The list, have, for example, Three, three simple columns, okay. It's the first one, the name, okay. The second one, the name, but we will change this to the key, okay. So we present the key in the in this column, okay, and mapping with the customer. We have a selection change, so we have the the selection change. The render, I, I will uh, explain more about the render and what meanings the render here, okay? So, load from customers, load loads the customer, make uh, a call to the customer data provider, okay? And get all the items from SharePoint and mapping to the items here, okay? The items here is the customers in, in the list, okay? So I will change, uh, but I will, okay, items is the customer, load the customers. So we'll continue. This is to retrieve the get key to using some operations in this list. On change uh, the text, it's an author if, for example, um, for example, like uh, we will see here, Okay, let's see. For example, this is the list. If I put here, for example, John, okay, I will filter the list only with the John itself. So in the, that is the function I will use to perform the search in the list, okay? On a, a item invoke, we will uh, create a panel to perform the addiction of the user. This is the code. Okay, if uh, you see, we create, uh, make a double click in the, the row and appears the customer to edit, for example, the name. If we edit John to John, John, uh, John Bravo, you remember the, the cartoon John Bravo? So I change, this is, okay, update the customer and we close the panel and after that, John not exists. Okay, so now is the John Bravo. Okay, if I put John Bravo, okay. John, John Bravo here, okay? You see here, John Bravo. I will change the name because it's John. This. It's Johnny Bravo, I guess. It is the name Johnny Bravo. Okay, save. We will use the name Johnny Bravo now. So after I save, I refresh and put the user here. Okay, so let's continue with this. This is the panel to perform the farm customer and of course show. 
this function is to hide the panel, okay? And after that, for example, you make a load and update the, the, the items or the customers in the grid. This is for selection and get the details. For example, if uh, I put here, appears here the name we will select it, okay? So let's continue with the code. For example, on click is the short, copy and short, copy and short utilities operations. So guys, let's return to, for example, the renders itself. In this component details, we as using the fabric, okay, the fabric component. If also command by customers, it's utilities for us. It's in the end, it is this, this bar here, okay? For example, it's possible for us until now, create a customer, okay? This is the, the, the bar, uh, toolbar, utilities to, for example, customer item and add a new customer item. After, for example, I will create the export to Excel, the move to, the rename of the list, for example, the share to share, and of course, if uh, you want to help me to improve this code and make the short here and short everything and uh, create a, a, a grid in, uh, for example, transform this list in the grid and of course put some details or infos here. And if you want, like I said, help me to improve this code. So let's continue with the overview. The next one is the separator to make a separation between the custom bar and, of course, the text field uh, filter uh, by name of the customer, for example, of the customer. Customer. Uh, my goodness, sometimes customer. Okay, the customer. So let's see. And we will make a mark selection to make a selection in the item and the tails list itself. So guys, this is the list. And of course, I will introduce some other components like, for example, a form create, where it's so simple than a text field and a button to save the user on change event to update to the user state and save, uh, make a save or create a, in this scenario, create the, the, the user and put in SharePoint list a new, a new item or a new customer. Okay. The edit, like, uh, like you, you, you see there, it's the addition, the addition of a field the name of the, the uh, item in the list. So that's it for, for today, guys. And uh, like I said, if you like the video, uh, put a thumbs up and uh, don't forget, uh, share. And of course, help me to improve the code and to create a crude, a simple, uh, web part crude operation in SharePoint and improve the community, a community. And so see you soon and bye bye.